Okay folks, I'm very quickly in this video I'm going to show you how to make your own 60-30 set square uh, from a piece of paper uh, or a piece of card. Um, so you should start with an A4, we're going to do this with an A4 piece of paper uh, and then you could use this as a template to draw around onto some card. So first of all you're going to need a ruler, it doesn't have to be a 30 centimeter ruler, it can be a shorter ruler and you're going to need a pencil, a sharp pencil. So what I'm going to do is uh, along the top edge here, we're going to mark out a line 38, 38 millimeters from the top. And we're going to draw a line across and then we're going to cut it off with a pair of scissors. So you're also going to need a pair of scissors. So I'm just going to tilt the paper slightly so I can show you what I'm doing. So on the edge of the paper here, I'm going to do mark out 38 millimeters. Okay, I'm going to do that in the middle. You've got to try and keep your ruler 90 degrees to that edge, perpendicular to the edge. And then I'm going to do the same the edge there. In fact, it would be better if I started on the edge here. So I'll put another mark there. Okay, <clears throat> so you need to get all the way across. If you have a shorter ruler, you'll have to make sure that the marks are within your kind of ruler's kind of range. Okay, so you might need to make more marks, but I've got a 30 centimeter ruler so I can go all the way across. So that's 38 millimeters down from the top of the page. Obviously the page is, is landscape, is, is horizontal like this. So I've got that line. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that off. So you need to do this very carefully. The more carefully you do this, the more accurate your 60-30 set square will be. And the 60-30 set square you'll need it to be able to um, draw in isometric. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fold it corner to corner. Now if you have, it's even not quite, not quite long enough, if you have a longer sheet of paper, like an A3 sheet of paper, you could use that uh, as a ruler and you could mark from corner to corner or anything that's straight really, a longer ruler or a piece of card or a box or anything that has a straight edge. So I'm going to mark that from corner to corner diagonally. Like that, so we've got a diagonal line all the way across. You don't have to mark that line because what we're going to do is we're going to, actually, we're going to fold that now. So I'm going to fold it from corner to corner. So can see what I'm doing is trying to make sure there we go so I've gone from get a nice nice fold so I folded it as you can see diagonally across the corner there and then finally uh, we don't this is the triangle we want okay so this is the 60-30 we don't need this bit and all I'm going to do is with a pencil is just mark there and then I'm going to cut that, cut that away. Um, you could glue it down or tape it down but you don't really need to. If it gets in the way it irritates you and obviously you can. So there you go, you've got your 60-30 set square. Let's just test that with a protractor. It might not be 100% accurate but it might be good enough. And there you go, you can see, if you can just see that, that there's 30, look. So that is 30 degrees. This should be 60 degrees, which it is. And then this corner obviously is 90 degrees. So we've got three corners, 90 degrees, 30 degrees and 60 degrees. In fact, we'll, we'll mark them. that we are 100% sure. And there you go, you have your set square. Now, if, it's, if you've done this from a piece of paper, I've done it from a piece of card, I've done this from a piece of paper, you can now get some card. You could use a cereal box, empty cereal box, or uh, it needs to be kind of flat card, it can't be corrugated card. So if you go and find some card um, and draw around that onto the card and then cut that out um, so that you've got a, a better edge to draw uh, lines against. 
there you go. That's our, um, that's our 30, 60 set square.